Hi, in this video tutorial we will show you how to set up internet access for Integrex web scatter system. This is brought to you by eCover. Integrex web scatter server was actually designed to be accessible via internet even though most of the time it is used in intranet basis or simply just a desktop application. Another thing that worth mentioning is that no IIS server and no fixed public IP is needed for configuring Integrex web scatter server for remote access. All you need is just an Integrex web scatter server and a DNS client too which is free. Here is the overview picture showing how it works. You have an Integrex SCADA server running in a local area network with a LAN IP assigned by your router DHCP etc. You have a project called Demo configured in your Integrex server with a default port setting of 7131. Then your router which is connected to the internet will be assigned by your area internet service provider with a fixed or dynamic public IP the one that is long and hard to memorize. Over the other side of the internet, you may have licensed users to access to the web SCADA server by using the specific public IP address with a port number. First problem you may encounter is that your router might block all the ports for security reason. So we have to set up the router in such that it will port forward any request for 7131 to the Integrex web SCADA server. Then as the public IP can be a dynamic IP which is changing all the time and it's also so hard to remember. So the easy way out is to use a client server too which sits on top of the local web SCADA server and update the DNS server to map with the registered domain name. To configure the port forwarding, first you will need to know your router LAN IP address to access its configuration page using the browser. You can know it by typing in command prompt IP config and look at the default gateway which normally will be your router IP address. Then open a browser and type in the router IP address and key in the username and password given by the manufacturer of the router. Once you're in the main page of a router, try to look for a page where port forwarding configuration is. Some routers may call it as a virtual server. If you're unsure of the procedure, you may visit a website called portforward.com which compiled a list of common routers configuration page screenshots. Under the router add port forwarding section, enter the web SCADA LAN IP address and the port number 7131 for this instance. Click add or save button and restart the router to update the port forwarding settings. After that, you may go to the website called canchuseeme.org and type in your port number and see or verify whether your router port forwarding is working. Make sure WebSCADA is running before that. Next, we will show how DNS mapping solution works so that we won't have to remember the long and randomly assigned public IP address. This, however, is optional and as mentioned earlier, we don't have to pay a premium to apply for fixed IP to solve this. In this tutorial, we'll be using noip.com as our example. First, we go to noip.com and download the client tool. After the download, install the noip.com client tool into the SCADA server. Then we shall proceed to the account registration at noip.com. Just fill in the necessary information and you will receive an activation mail. Once activated, you may log in into account. And once you have logged in, go to host redirects section and then click on aid host then select your preferred subdomain name and enter your desired host name into the host name box just click create host button to complete the host name creation after your host name registration has been completed you may now run the no ip client tool that you have just installed Log into the account that you have created earlier. Then the client tool will look for the available hostname that you have just created under your account previously. You may from the hostname list and select the one that you want to map to your web SCADA server. Once this is done, the client tool will automatically update to the no IP DNS server whenever your SCADA server public IP address change and map it with the registered host name that you have created and selected and so redirect the internet users to your Integrex server without fail.